thing on? Is this thing on? Uh. <laughs> Fuck. I'm just waiting for it to come. Because <laughs> it will. It will. Uh. <laughs> Good girl, Lola. I have the hiccups. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but welcome to <laughs> to another episode of the Two Girls One Blunt podcast. Hi. I'm your co-host <laughs> Jamie Lee, and I'm Emily. <laughs> <laughs> and on this episode. Jamie will die. <laughs> Fuck. There was like an Arthur episode where DW had the hiccups and she couldn't stop hiccuping and he, uh, Arthur told her that she would die from the hiccups, I think. You always tell me I'm going to die on every <laughs> podcast episode. I do. You like this has that now become is a trend. Death. That's death. Despair, destruction. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're twitching one eye. <laughs> like you, um. <laughs> I've had hiccups all night, too. You did. If you <laughs> eat peanut butter, it gets rid of it. We don't have any peanut butter, though. I'll eat Harley instead. Harley? I'm, I'm gonna eat you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you Can don't I, wanna be eaten? Can I eat you to get rid of my hiccups? <laughs> Harley, please sacrifice yourself. <laughs> okay. Well, I saw a TikTok, and it was saying <laughs> that some people. Oh, I, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening, <laughs> guys? Make sure you follow follow us on ch- at Two Girls One Blunt Pod on Instagram. We have a lot of you listening, and not, not a lot of you following us on Instagram. <laughs> so, um, it's at Two Girls One Blunt Pod, and we love you. And also, write us. A- a five star written review, um, and if you write the review and then you DM us, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a picture of my titties. <laughs> I'll match that. Will you? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we'll send you pictures of our titties. <laughs> We're whoring ourselves out for reviews because that's what the critics say. We're just two <laughs> whores who are vulgar and don't deserve a podcast. Um. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, so I saw a TikTok. <laughs> how, yeah, how are you, Emily? I'm doing great. We're about to go to Aspen. Yeah, you're already getting cozy. Oh yeah, I'm like snuggled up under the blankets. It's cold <sighs> in our apartment. We don't have AC, and now we have a lot of AC. <laughs> and now it's really cold. But um, I was cold and lonely last night, and the cats were with me. Oh. <laughs> Pop. Okay, so the viral TikTok. <laughs> okay, the Tiki Talkie. Um, the Tiki Talkie. Uh, there was a person, and they were like, "People can smell ants. Can you smell ants? I cannot smell ants. I can smell rain on the pavement. I can smell rain, but not ants. Not ants. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay. Do we have to record another time? <laughs> no. Um, you're going to get through this. <laughs> My eyebrow always does that. Jamie oh. Lee! <laughs> ah! Mickey, I was going to scare her. <laughs> we'll no. find out. Um, so apparently, like, some people can smell ants, and some people can't smell ants. <gasps> and honestly, <laughs> I have the hiccups, but I wish I could smell ants. Like, I feel like that'd be super proud. You'd be like... There's ants. In They're the house. coming. <laughs> no, imagine it when we had an ant infestation. If we could smell them, oh, that'd it, be gross. And it just smelled like garbage or something. I went on Reddit, and this is like a thing. Other people were talking about it. Smelling ants. Smelling ants. Like going back to like oh. 2015, I there were guess. threads, and people said that they either smelled lemony or like blue cheese and vinegar. Ew. Which <laughs> none of those lemon no, is lemon's good. Not bad. Lemon smells like a clean scent. And then somebody said that the smaller ants smell worse. And a couple of people, like, echoed that statement. So I was like, interesting. Interesting. Very. Very interesting. Ants are weird. They can carry so much shit. How how does, like, where does it start, though, someone being 
able fucking hiccups someone being able to smell ants like did we need that for some reason back in the day as cavemen fucking i wonder hiccups if, if it helped us because ants don't they eat like our food so what if we knew the ants were coming and then we could hide our food so we had food exactly so maybe that's part of our gene dna dna is so weird there are some like i'm smart i studied biology (laughs) i failed biology twice chem oh i failed chem (laughs) oh no i actually withdrew i had a just big fat w on my college report card i think i withdrew too yeah I was, was like, this is not for me. I literally was like, this isn't for me. And everyone's like, you're withdrawing from a class. It's so bad. You're not, not going to get in vet school. And I was like, you can't tell me how to live my life. Yeah. And now I saw pictures of my butthole. <laughs> also, <laughs> my boyfriend's mom, He, I kind of got mad at him the other day. This is so out of the blue. But he uh, uh. texted me while he... <laughs> He was at his family's for Christmas, and they were like, uh, he was like, my mom's listening to your podcast right now. (laughs) I've met her once for like Mm -hmm. an hour. Yeah. And I was just like, I literally talk about the worst shit on here. (laughs) And this woman is going to be so horrified. And um, she ended up just being like, those funny comedians. But uh, I thought it was the end of the world. So every time now that I like say things on here, I'm like, who's listening? <laughs> Is Michelle Obama listening? I want to read what her book. What would she book. think of me? <laughs> what would Michelle Obama think of me? I wish I didn't have that goes right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to burp. Uh. Whoa, maybe that was it. Hold on one more time. Uh. <laughs> I get into these burp fits. If someone has a fetish for that, like I'm your girl. Yeah. Cause I'll just burp for like three minutes and it's like the most unattractive burps. I'll just look at Mr. Robo tongue and I'll be like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love burping. <laughs> yeah. That was a side note. I couldn't believe someone's mom that I'm associated with. Listen, listen to this. I love that. I only want that support from now on. If you don't show your mom the podcast, it's not love. Um, Is it love? Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. I feel like that's hatred. You're trying to ruin this relationship. No. Um, But yeah, fucking genetic quirks, man. Like cilantro tastes like soap to me. That's so weird. Some people, when they eat asparagus, they have asparagus pee. Some people don't have asparagus pee. I have the worst. Worst asparagus pee. My dad does, but I don't. It's fucking horrendous. Asparagus pee is foul. I, it's vile. It's like, putrid. You don't ha- you don't smell asparagus when you pee Mm-mm. after you eat it. Mm-mm. Can you just not smell it or like no? Because I smell it when other people pee, but I don't have it. Like I've asked my dad oh, so after you're... I've eaten asparagus. Wait, I'm gonna have to test this out. Okay. I'm gonna make us asparagus, I love and, asparagus. Then and then I'm gonna and then smell she's gonna your... go in my bathroom. <laughs> I don't want to smell your pee. Picture this. You've been seeing a partner for a while. Yeah. It's your first time showering. Uh Uh-huh. Not only are they a a shower pisser, but they have asparagus pee. Now you're trapped in a hot shower. A steam of asparagus pee. Has that happened to you? I was the peer. Oh, of course you were. Of course you were. So now we know that Mickey pees in the shower. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. If you don't pee in the shower, where do you pee? How do you hold it? That's natural, you know. Yeah. But I forgot that I had eaten asparagus and then it started to come out just because of a bodily reaction. I, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. OK, so, so picture this. A guy's going down on you and you had asparagus that day and he, oh make, and he makes you squirt. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and you have asparagus squirt. That's yellow. Is oh. green. <laughs> oh, 